Let me switch gears here and go to uh, Dick Durbin. Dick Durbin used an illegal alien to promote the DREAM Act. He took to the floor uh, of the Senate and he held out a giant photograph of a smiling young woman wearing a Muslim hijab and the American flag was in the background. And he introduced her as Allah McCall, a Kuwaiti-born dreamer activist whom he described as being of Palestinian descent and who was brought over to the country illegally at a young age by her parents and went on to become an honor student, get a degree in architecture, and now needed a path to citizenship. So Durbin said she could fill her her American dream. Durbin went so far as to feature Allah on her own official web page. Here's the audio of Dick Durbin. This is Allah Makaho. Allah is of Palestinian descent, was brought to the United States by her parents 19 years ago when she was seven years old. She is 26 and she grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, my home state. She was an honor student in high school and graduated from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, a great university, with a bachelor's degree in architecture. She sent me a letter and here's what she said. Being undocumented and with no pathway to citizenship means I actually can't use my architectural degree. It means I can't get a job and move forward with my life. Oh, man. This year, once again, we wait for Congress oh. to do the right thing and oh, give please. undocumented young people do the right all thing. across America a chance to better serve our communities and our country. That's all they want to do. I'm an asset serve. to this country, a resource you are. with a desire to make good use of my degree. Of course. I want to be able to work and design affordable housing for low income communities. Sure, you do. Sure, you do. In the finest American oh. tradition, Allah has become an activist. Yeah. She has stepped out to introduce herself to America. Oh, she good. has. Thank you for introducing us to her. Okay, so uh, now... Dick, that's here, beautiful. Here, so here he's, he's, well, he's wanting to make sure that you oh, understand this Palestinian woman is just like you. Oh, she, she loves lo- she loves America. She loves America. She's got she the American flag. An an so here's what she put her first, uh, her first tweet was, Did y'all notice the flag in the background of the pic? That was no coincidence. Hash mark messaging. Hash mark LOL. Okay, that wait a minute, there's something to that. What are you saying there? Yeah, she's mocking. Yeah. The photo that Dick Durbin held up mocked patriotism. She was using it as a way to message. Now, here's what she said in an open letter to her parents. She doesn't discuss architecture or her passion for for uh, the country. Instead, she talks about her passion for community organizing. Dear Mama and Baba, I can't stop organizing. Organizing is the reason I get up in the morning. I have to. I need to organize because the alternative, doing nothing and staying silent, is more oppressive than the immigration system itself. Okay. You think, all right, well, she's a little over the top, but there's a lot of people that believe in that so passionately. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. America takes all kinds. Uh, There's more, sadly. Yeah. Here's November 16th. (laughs) November 16th. Let's just be friends and pretend the genocide in Palestine is not happening. Okay, for, hang on. Jeez. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. The genocide in Palestine is not happening because you know we just want to make peace. We just want to talk. We're going to do God, Mom, Apple Pie, fun interfaith stuff. Why are you bringing political baggage? We just want to talk. Let's have a civil conversation. This is happening over there, and this is here. Let's just have a conversation. No, capital letters, deny Palestine and you deny me, my past, my present, and my future. Deny Palestine and you are an accomplice to the murderers. To hell with the interfaith, SH. You can't, you can't recognize the, if you can't recognize the oppression of my people. Ever seen King or Gandhi say, let's ignore the Holocaust of my people so we can talk? You're an accomplice. You're an accomplice. You're an accomplice. I'm an undocumented in I'm undocumented in America today because and I quote the catastrophe Nakba in 1948 that's what they call the creation of Israel Nakba the catastrophe <laughs> that's who this woman is she loves by the way to comment on white people who she sees as the cause of many problems on April 6th Allah had a message for anyone who dared speak out about the topic of Muslim women with special attention paid to white people and what she refers to as your governments April 6th 
every damn time without fail, there's news about Muslim women. Everybody suddenly starts to become an expert about Islam. Muslims, women in Islam, and Middle Eastern politics. Here's a PSA. Shut the F up. She is beautiful. Yeah, I she's... can't wait to make her an American <laughs> Thank you citizen. again, Senator Durbin, for introducing Allah to us. Here's another PSA. Really sweet. She goes on. Here's another <laughs> PSA, especially to white people. Stop trying to liberate or save us. Seriously, just quit. Oh, I am so willing to do that. Oh, man. Oh, man, am I willing to do that. Um, tell your damn governments and people to stop bombing our countries. So she wants to be an American citizen I for know. what reason? I, I don't know. Go back to Palestine. That's it's where she loves, what she believes in, what she's fighting for. So. And your imperialistic SH. And treat us like human beings. Uh, that we are, who actually make decisions for themselves. So sick of seeing all these people giving irrelevant analysis every time a Muslim woman sneezes. I've run out of patience for y'all. This, Dick Durbin, I will look at her as a model for the DREAM Act. Mm -hmm. I will look at her as a model. Because that's exactly what we say you're bringing into the country. That's exactly what we say. So, Dick, you're exactly right. November 27th, ain't no power like the power of the people because the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Oh. <laughs> Driver's <laughs> license for all, that's what. A thousand brown people descending on Springfield, white people in suits, beware. Mm. Mm. So she's racist. She hates America. She hates everything it stands for. She hates the government, which she doesn't consider hers. Uh, I mean, you know, the, these Durbin? people are such dupes for the haters of no, America. They know what they are. They know who they know who these people are. They know who these people are. I'm convinced they cannot. You cannot excuse their stupidity. Yeah, you cannot excuse it. What, what was the date that he gave that speech, Pat? Uh, it was it was in 2012. 2012. Uh, yeah, sometime these in 2012. Are, these are all. After yeah, all after all that. after that yeah, this year. I mean, she's not hiding anything. He's you. He used her as a model and said, "You need to know this woman." I agree with Dick Durbin. You want to have a mm -hmm. conversation about the Dream Act? I agree with him. You should know her because this is who she is, and this is what the Dream Act is really all about. How good can your argument be that when you're searching for one example of and someone... That's who you and find, that's who you find, and that's what you're calling. Who was the other one? Remember, Jeez. there was another one that, that was, like a few years ago, that somebody had used, the president or somebody had used, maybe they stood up in, a, in, in you know, the, the uh, State of the Union speech, or it was something like that, and immediately we went to their their Facebook and Twitter and we said, how do they not know this? Look at who that individual is. Do you, don't you remember that? It was a really big, important moment. And the press didn't the press didn't cover it all. Yeah, we I, did. And we, I don't remember? remember the specifics, but I remember something like that. The general story. Right. Yeah. And it was like there was somebody really big and we're like, how do you not know that? How do you not know that? It's like, for instance, the guy who is. That Louis Gohmert brought up and said is a Muslim M Muslim Brotherhood um, operative here in the United States. He was in Dallas. Rick Perry was investigating because he was he was doing nefarious things, trying to hack into the uh, security systems here. Remember? And Louis Gohmert mm -hmm. br brought it up and said to N Janet Napolitano, "Did you know this? No, I'm not aware of that. Will you look into that and then report back to us? Your time is up." Your time is up, Congressman. So she never answered him. Year goes by, still nothing. What's happened? She's resigned, and somebody in the White House just promoted that same guy. Now, who is that guy? That guy now is a, a ranking official in the Department of Homeland Security, and one of his buddies, also from Dallas, is the guy re on the receiving end of the arms in Syria. That guy also from this cesspool, a nightmare cesspool here in uh, Dallas, he's shipped over and he becomes one of the brotherhood. He becomes the armed rebel over there. But remember, when he was over here, his wife is teaching school and they're just like you. Really? Are you going over to join the armed rebels in Syria? Because I'm not. Are you going over to join them? 
Somehow or another, this is why the president is for sending the arms, because he knows who these people are. They were here extremists here in Dallas. And so he goes over, and now he's receiving the arms. Now, wait a minute. Hang on just a second. Isn't one of the things we're worried about is shipping them arms, and then they'll turn them against our soldiers, or they wind up here on our own streets? Well, that will never happen, because for that to happen, that guy over in Syria that's getting the guns would have to have some sort of source in the Department of Homeland Security that could could make sure that we can turn a blind eye to anything coming across our border. Oh, we have that now. Boy, it doesn't take a, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. It just takes people just to, to wake up. It takes people who are willing to look at it. And so, Dick Durbin, we thank you today for uh, having us look at this woman who you say is the model of the Dream Act. You're right. Now, if we had if we had decent press, send this over to the Blaze. We just opened our Washington bureau this week. Send this over to the Blaze and have them get a statement from Dick Durbin. Have them put a camera in her in his face and say, "Hey, by the way, here's the thing about that woman that you used to model. How do you, how do you feel about that? Did you know about her? How did she come across your desk? Out of all the mail, it just you happened to open that one? Really? Well, we told you earlier about um, Dick Durbin and the woman that he held up as an example in congress as just a woman who just wants to be the you know be in the united states she just wants she's a she's gonna she's the recipient of the dream act it's people like her oh she's an asset oh she'd be an asset, asset to this country and um we found out what kind of asset she is she is an angry disgruntled palestinian who on her facebook and twitter rips this country apart and israel Calls it the yeah. catastrophe, yeah. Nakba, in yeah. 1948. I mean, she is a Palestinian extremist, and she's here illegally. And Dick Durbin held her up. So we asked earlier this morning, you know, can we get some comments from Dick Durbin? And uh, just got this in from The Blaze. Um, they're a little freaked out. We were initially hung up on when we asked to spe- speak to the press secretary. And uh, then we were hung up. Then we called back and we went to voicemail. Then they didn't know who the press secretary was. But the concerned citizens in Illinois might want to let their senator know what they think about this uh, this woman. You can find this story up at theblaze.com. And, uh, and the direct office number is uh, 202-224-2152. 202-224-2152. I just like Dick Durbin to answer... Where did he get this woman? I mean, really? Out of all the letters that came in, you just randomly picked this one. And did anybody check her? And does he still stand by her for the Dream Act?